All right team, now for today's workout, all you're going to need is some dumbbells. If you've only got one set of dumbbells, that's cool, we can work with that. If you've got multiple different weights, then you can adjust it if you need to on certain exercises. But look, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna break it down into three supersets. All right, so we're gonna go a push-pull for upper body, then we're gonna work on that lower body, and we're gonna finish off with some arms. So how it's gonna work is you'll do the first exercise for 45 seconds, rest for 15, straight into the second exercise. Again, 45 seconds, 15, rest. That's one round, and then you're straight back into it. You're gonna do five rounds of that. Once you've done that, we'll take an extended rest, and then we'll move on to the next superset. So I'll roll you through this first push-pull uh, superset. I'll get my clock ready so I know exactly how long we're going for. So we're gonna aim for 45 seconds, guys, so we're gonna drop down into a floor press. That's the first exercise. So we want feet flat on the ground, back flat on the ground. As we lower the weights, we're gonna go nice and slow. Four, three, two, one, and then big press. So I'm pushing up straight above my chest, controlling all the way down, elbows just touch the ground, and then we press again. Every single movement that we do today is on purpose. We want to get a stretch, and then a squeeze. Stretch it out, elbows just touch the ground, pushing up directly over that chest, getting that big squeeze. Control that breathing, control the movement. Once we've done our 45 seconds, we've got 15 seconds to get to our feet, and we're gonna move straight into a bent over row using the dumbbells. So the cool thing about this one, guys, is we're gonna have a really good range of movement uh, that we can control ourselves with each individual arm. All right, so the setup, our, we've got 45 seconds, slight bend in the knees, tipping straight over from the hips, so we've got a nice straight back, and I'm throwing those dumbbells up, squeeze through the shoulder blades, pour to the top, Drag those lats back around. Slow them the way down, explode up, get that squeeze. Drag them out. Up, squeeze, you want to picture if my elbows were to continue to go back, they'd eventually touch. That's the sort of squeeze that we want. We're throwing those elbows in to squeeze through the shoulder blades. Nice and slow the way down. Making sure we're rock solid through that midsection and our back is nice and flat. So again, once we hit that 45 seconds, We'll then rest for 15 seconds. Once we've rested for 15 seconds, straight back into that press again. So there's a very small amount of rest on this, and this is where the beauty is going to be. We're working opposing muscle groups here, so it's um, yeah, we don't need a great deal of rest. Essentially, my chest is resting while I'm doing the, my rows, my back's resting while I'm doing my presses. So we'll have a minute off. Once you've done your minute, we'll go into the second set. So this one's gonna be lower body. Same time, 45 on, 15 off for five rounds. Exercise number one is going to be our stiff leg deadlift. All right, so we're going to adapt the same position that we use for our bent over row. So soft knees, tipping over from the hips, driving down, chest proud, back flat. Once we get there, we're hanging for one second. Drive through, squeeze. Shoot those hips back, push them back towards the wall. Four, three, two, one, drive through and squeeze. Now the aim isn't essentially to get the dumbbells to the ground, it's to work to where you can effectively still get a stretch and maintain good posture. There is no point rounding the shoulders just to get the dumbbells to the ground or get them a little bit lower. All right, we really want to stretch out through those hamstrings, pause at the bottom, take momentum out, drive through, and we're squeezing the glutes as tight as we can. You're squeezing your bum. So we're to do that 45 seconds, guys. From there, I'm gonna drop one dumbbell, our second exercise is gonna be a goblet sumo squat. Feet are gonna go out nice and wide. Gonna take one dumbbell, gonna squeeze it as hard as I can. And again, we're dropping down for four, three, two, and one. Really working on the depth of our squat here. Getting down as low as we can. We don't have a big load on our back. So we don't have to fight through that. So really open up through those hips. I'm trying to drag my heels in. Roll my quads out, so I'm essentially trying to corkscrew the ground with my feet to make sure that my quads are active through the whole movement. Again, I'm not just dropping up and down, I'm trying to stretch it out here, making sure my hammies, my glutes are working as well, and I'll come through, squeeze at the top, make sure I'm squeezing through those thighs into the quads. All right, again, once I've done my 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest, and I'll go straight back in to my stiff leg deadlifts, do five rounds. Once you've done that, guys, again, we'll have about a minute, minute and a half rest, and we'll go into this final superset, we'll finish up on some arms. 
So depending on the size of your dumbbells, guys, if you've got bigger dumbbells, you might only have to use one dumbbell here. So I'll demonstrate with one. But if you've got two, you can use two. We're simply just gonna do a bicep curl and a French press. Exactly the same timing, guys. So if you've only got the one dumbbell, kick it out in front, squeeze those arms. All right, right up. Now if you've got two, same movement. What we wanna do, get a full stretch. Make sure those arms lock out at the bottom. Squeeze at the top, drop down the dumbbells, don't hit my legs. They're kicked out, but my arms are straight. Curling through. Again, if we've only got the one dumbbell, it'll look like that, out in front. Squeeze through. Control, and up. Three seconds down, get that full extension. Squeeze on the way up. We've got 10 seconds left here, so we're gonna keep working. Making sure we're switched on again, rock solid through that midsection so we don't get any swinging through it. All the movement is through our arms. Then we'll have that 15 seconds rest. We'll go into our final movement. We're gonna use a dumbbell. Again, if you've got two, you can use two. I prefer one on this one. You go straight up over that head, elbows in tight, and we're gonna French press with the dumbbell. Slow down, stretch that tricep out. As we push up, we're pushing up over the head, not out in front. Keeping the elbows in nice and tight, trying to get them directly forward, so we're pointing forward, not letting them wing out. Drive up, four seconds down, three, two, one, big stretch, and up, so from the side. Soft knees, core brace, slow, drive up, squeeze, control. Again, we've got the 45 seconds on that, with 15 seconds rest, straight back into the bicep. We'll finish off with a good arm pump. So guys, give that a go. Like I said, we're gonna get the upper body with the push-pull. We're gonna get the legs, hammies with the deadlifts, working a whole lot of the legs with the uh, goblet squats, and then we're gonna finish off with a nice arm pump with some uh, buys and tries. 45 on, 15 off, straight into the next round, and you're gonna do it five times on each. Should give you about a 30, 35 minute workout, but the pump and the heart rate will be great. Give it a try, let us know how you go.